Hey Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain here on Captain Clyde's MTG and we have the 11 booster packs or set packs, set boosters, you know what I mean, that we won during the three pre-releases we went to here at the local area. So today we are going to go through, we're going to crack some packs, uh, use this as a way to see how the set boosters are lined up, what they look like, <coughs> what's in them. That way we can be prepped for when we start the box opening series. Mm boy. So, before we get started, don't forget, try and get to a thousand subscribers. So click that subscribe button and sub up. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I open a new box, which we'll post at least once a day when the box opening series starts. Uh, the series should be starting next week sometime. Uh, I don't know exactly when. Uh, after this video, I'll probably start posting some stuff as the boxes come in to let you guys know where they're at, along with uh, tracking and all that good jazz. So, scoot these guys up here, and let's get into it. So, uh, let's see here. These set boosters, these do not have pull, oh, they do have pull tabs right there. Okay. So. All right, there we go. All right, so the set boosters are set up with the art card in the front as usual. Not too shabby. Uh, foil land. God, why couldn't that have been a regular foil land? Um, okay, so we got commons. All right. We got some uncommons. All right, that looks like we have some of these stained glass art ooh very nice caves of coleos that's beautiful good looking rare there ooh or if that's another good one rare number two with a foil cleaving skyrider don't think that's too great not too good of a foil well, we did get a token though all right so it looks like we have a land art an art card a land the commons the uncommons uh, the stained glass, our rares, foil, and then our token. Uh, pretty basic and normal. Nothing too different or new in this one. Hey, we got a signed one. Look at that. Good old air tide. Signed by Pancoast. Very nice. Another foil basic land. Ugh, what couldn't that be? Stained glass. All right, commons. So sweet uncommons. I'm telling you, this uh, this Jota book's gonna be something special. I just have a feeling. Uncommons. All right, we got our stained glass braid or a parrot. I'm sorry. Interesting. Uncommon. All right, our first rare is the Scholar of Antiquity. Not too shabby, I guess. Ooh, very nice. We got a mythic. It's Wrath Liberated Prime Evil. It's not our foil, unfortunately, but we do get a mythic. Yeah, foil common and a token. So not a bad mythic, not worth a whole lot though. I'm going to open these the old way. This is St. Cutting It. All right, okay. Well, that was not foil. So some commons. Looks like we got a couple uncommons. We, hmm, hmm, deja vu. Oh, hey, look at that. It is a commander card. Robarian Mercenaries. I don't know if that's a good one or not, but we'll, we'll put it off here to the side. Oh, Leyline Binding. Um, so this thing's actually kind of pricey, I think, for some reason. But... Nice hit. All right, regular foil. Aw, oh, wah, wah. As Sky Marcher Aspirant from the list. So we're gonna start doing this the old fashioned way. There we go. All right, another good art card. Ah, oh, it's another foil land. It's, mm. Give me this stained glass ones. All right, some uncommons again. Really? Really? Like, come on. 
All right, caves, not the best rare, but there it is. Clockwork Bridge and our token. Ooh, card from the list. Hope he's a juicy one. All right, good art there. Finally, a stained glass land. Wish it was foil. All right, some commons. Got our uncommons. Hey, it's a different card. So, not too shabby. Good old Jora. I don't know if she's gonna be worth anything. All right, foil uncommon. And, oh, okay. Uh, I mean, it's a mythic. It's not really worth anything, but I mean, what are you gonna do, right? It's a mythic nonetheless. Alrighty. Art card, land card. Commons, uncommons. We have the Storm Runner. Interesting art. Ooh. Vesuvian Diplomacy, mythic number three so far. That's pretty nice. Foil Weather Seed Treaty. This is a really good card. Uh, I think it's going to be great in Commander because the ability to just fetch land and then you get bonus stuff for three just seems pretty sweet, especially as a foil. Ooh, another card from the list. Oh, it's stained glass. We haven't had a stained glass foil yet. That's what we're, that's what we're waiting on. So we can see it in all its glory. All right, Raph from the weather light. Oh, there's two of them this time. Rada. All right. Rare. Foil common. Ah, sink into whatever that is. Wah, wah. Hey, Roba. Put that up there since it's a mythic. All right, four packs left, guys. Ooh, another list card. Remember, these are all from different boxes because they came out. We got one pack at a time, so it's very possible to hit some juicy ones back to back. Commons. There's the Warren Chief. I think he's a pretty good card, honestly, for four mana. Not too shabby. Galactic Transformation. That's a miss. So my Herbalist. Ugh, it's a rare, but it's a Mizium tank. Really? Dang it. That could have been better. Another list card. Maybe we'll get something good eventually. All right. We got another Storm Runner. Oh, hey. We got another Commander card. Very nice. Uh, Aether Chandler. Not too shabby. A yeah, foil scarred piece. That's not too bad. Ooh, Serendib Sorcerer from target creature other than the Sorcerer becomes an 0-2 till end of turn. Hmm. Interesting rare. I don't know if that's worth anything or not. I'll have to check that out. All right, guys, two packs left. We'll wrap this up for you. Again, that's a play set of four. What the heck? Another Rith. Literally. Alright. Meteorite. That's very weird. A lot of... Like I said, they all came from different boxes because it was one pack at a time. So, like... I mean, I wish I'd be duplicating different Mythics and stuff, but well, whatever. Finally, we got one. Foil Stained Glass. Very sexy. Like it a lot. All right, guys, last pack from our winnings. Can we hit something really big at the end? Come on, big hit. Uh, well, I mean, this card does see a lot of play currently, so it's not terrible, I guess. Oh, there we go. Foil Temporary Lockdown. That's a good hit. All right, so all in all, I mean, not terrible. I think we did okay. We ended up with three, four mythics if you count that one. A rare foil, which I think is worth a pretty penny. Uh, some decent rares. Uh, maybe even a little couple, maybe something a little spicy from the list. A couple commander cards. So not too bad for just a few packs of 11. It makes me excited to see what we're going to get when we start going through the whole box opening series.
So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comments down below. It's going to feed that YouTube algorithm to get us some more subscribers. Try and get to 1,000 people to sub up for me. If you've done everything you can, thank you. And if you want to keep helping, there's links down below, also in the description for the eBay store, the Patreon page, and my email if you just want to reach out and say hi, hi. So, without further ado, until next time, be kind, and hope to see you across from the game table.